So I just wanted to give a little recap about what's going on in my life. Um, for those of you who don't know, I moved back from Dallas. I am now living back home in Arkansas, um, in the Russellville, Dover, Pottsville, Darnell, Clarksville area. Um, I am I have been reconnecting with friends, and I have been just trying to get myself back into a spot to where I'm finding myself again. Um, not that I didn't love Dallas. Dallas actually was a great learning experience for me. However, it caused me to go through a dark period in my life, and I don't want to go too much on that tonight, because tonight I really want to talk about Valentine's Day and what Valentine's mean. Valentine's mean is about experiencing the true love that we feel with other people around our lives that truly love us back. And I came back from Dallas probably about, well, I came back in December. It was right around Christmas time. Best time for me to come back because, you know, I was surrounded by people. In the holidays, I was back with my mom and my dad, my sister and her husband, Bobby. Hey, Bobby, what's up? Um, and, you know, I got to be back with my niece and nephew. I got to be back with people in the church that I love. Henry, Angie, love you guys. Thank you all so much for your prayers. Brent and Krista as well. I've enjoyed, truly enjoyed being back in service with y'all. And being able to be in praise and worship with y'all, just shout out to y'all real fast. Um, Tiffany Reno, I love you, girl. You are my sister in Christ. You are, like, the closest thing to a sister besides my sister, Cat and Blood, that you, you do not realize how much... I am grateful that you are my sister and I'm your brother. Um, and it's only because of God. Um, I want to talk to y'all about what true love means. True love in most of our lives, we feel like, some of us think about it as like a husband-wife relationship, you know, between two lovers. Or we think about it as between a mother and son. Or dad and daughter, or just any type of a parent and child, brother, sister, family, relative, a friend. Like, there's so many dynamics, even to the point of between one lover and another. And the love that I want to talk about in honor of Valentine's Day is that agape love, that unconditional love, that unfailing love. Um... So, many of you know, I grew up in church, and I grew up serving God. I, I gave my life to Christ at the age of seven. Um, but there was always something inside of me that I was, unaf I was so scared of being able to like let people know about. And because of that, it hindered my walk with God. It hindered my relationship with Christ. And... Not saying that I didn't have one, because you know what? Jesus Christ was what I was very passionate about at the age of 12, 14, 16, at the age of 18. But I got sick and tired of feeling a certain way inside of me. And what I'm doing right now is that I'm letting everything out in the open, and I'm letting everything out... Okay, so the way that I felt that I could be close to somebody was not the way that I was raised that was the right way to be able to. I was raised in a family and in a church that felt like you had to be able, in order to get close to somebody, intimate, sexually, had to be with someone of the opposite sex. That wasn't me. I was somebody that I was in the outcast. I felt like me being attracted to someone, me being intimate, someone who was of the opposite sex, oh, I'm a male, they would be a female. It, it wasn't the case for me. It had to be someone different. And, you know, I struggled with that a lot in my life. And I felt like it was branded upon me that I had to be one or the other. And... I got bitterness inside my heart because I'm like, why well, I can't match up to this? I can't be this person. So what I decided to do was hide it and conceal it. 
And so I got to the point in my life to where I was shutting everyone out, everyone in my life out, because I was so afraid to love because I was going to love the wrong person, or I was going to love a, a way that I wasn't supposed to love. And all that time not realizing that God had given me the gift to give so much love to people. Like, so much love and compassion to this dying world, to this unloving world. And I let the enemy blind me. So, I went to Dallas feeling like I wasn't supposed to love anybody. Well, I get there and I fall in love and I start discovering people. I start truly discovering who I was and who I wanted to be, but at the same time, I still, like, I didn't want to, like, expose who I was. Like, there were still parts of me that I didn't want, even on the op opposite spectrum of the Christian church, living in the world, I still wasn't comfortable with this person. Because you know what, there was still somebody on this far end of the side I didn't want this person to know about. The same way that I didn't want this person to know about this person. But there was still someone in the middle. And this person right here wasn't wasn't being heard. And so in conclusion, all I'm saying is this person on the conservative Christian side and this person on very liberal, like, there was still something missing. And the center of all was that it was Christ. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. He was the one that saved me. He's the one that redeemed me. I couldn't think of a better person in my life to think of spending the eternity with other than this man. Yeah. I'm different. There might be people in my life that might, like, say, okay, you know what? This isn't right, but Jesus says it's okay. I may never marry, I may never be a husband to a perfect wife, I may never be the father of many children, but I'm going to be a radical lover of Jesus Christ, because you know what? He delivered me from so much, He saved me from so much, and I'm grateful, I'm thankful for who I am. You know, I know who God intended me to be, finally. And I never want to change that. So, for this month and Valentine's Day, I want you to truly discover who God, Christ wanted you to be. Who God wanted you to become. You know, the first thing is, we need to love God with all our heart, with our soul, with all our mind. And the second thing, second thing is to love our neighbor as ourselves. So, you know what? Find out those things in your life that you truly love about yourself. Fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with God first, but second, fall in love with yourself. And you know what? When you truly find out who you are and who you love about you, it's going to cause you to then look at other people and be able to truly fall in love with them. And then we will finally be able to make a difference in this world. So I leave you with this. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope that I get to share more with y'all. Hope y'all love this. And you know what? I love you guys. I love you, and you know, I want y'all to know that I'm praying for you. Whatever you need, just let me know. Because, you know, Christ, I have had multiple people in my life who have prayed over me over issues. And you know what? Their prayers brought me home. Their prayers brought me back into a family when I felt so alone. So, you know, whatever you're going through, I want to be that person that prays for you. I want to be that person that lets you know that, you know what, you matter. God loves you. Christ died for you. He wants to have a relationship with you. So, you know what? Just ask him. And he'll be the best boyfriend ever, let me tell you. <laughs> Love y'all. Happy Valentine's Day.